Okay, so this is the Judy Jam session, and I am speaking to LaShawn, right? Yes. And LaShawn has a job um, in procurement, um, working for the airport in Atlanta. And she's telling me that um, it's, you know, it's really, they, 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 there's been downsizing. People are working more than they used to, but not getting paid for it. So morale is super down. And people are not engaged um, in their job. They're reluctant to go to work. Um, they're angry. Um, it's just like, they, even to a potluck, they don't bring anything. <laughs> I mean, they're just burnt out. <laughs> And um, so what, what I would love you to do is to pitch yourself to go through module one, and I'll show you what that is, okay. and to end up with a pitch which follows a <coughs> certain structure, okay. and the structure is, you know, about identifying the audience, who you're talking to, what is the problem, you know, that people have, which we already discussed, and um, from your credibility, having worked there how many years? 10, it'll be 11. From working 10 years, from 10 years ago, 10, 10 years, that um, um, as well as your personal experience uh, being a Toastmaster and doing stand-up comedy, that you want to give a motivational speech to them. You want them to have a meeting and have motivational speech where you will give, maybe start off with just a 20 minute speech on, um, and the speech um, um, is going to be on the power of humor and appreciation and work. Maybe something like that. Because what you want to do is to get people more engaged. We need to lighten up the workplace. And the results of that are going to be we're going to lower the attrition rate. And um, people won't be quitting. Um, it's going to make the workplace a place where people want to go to work. And it's going to, um, you know, um, engage everybody in their job. So I would like you to give me a slot and I will do it for free um, because um, I'm new at this but um, because I have such on-job experience I know and it, this is totally going to be not club material but stuff that'll pass HR you know HR friendly and I just asked for one thing and that is that um, you videotape me Okay. Right? And then I will have a video because, you know, this is what I'm committed to doing. I'm committed to improving the workplace, you know, mm -hmm. so, and, and, and to, and to do it to my coworkers. And, and then, you know, so this is, this is what you're going to pitch is what you're going to talk about because you know about, um, and this is really a talk on, on um, engagement. Okay. And how do we create employee engagement? And you're going to do this using, you know, comedy techniques and stress reduction techniques. Okay. What do you think? Sounds good. Do you like that? Well, because I, I recorded this, so I'm going to I give you the recording afterwards, and you could just okay. write down what I said. Okay. So transcribe it. So I'm going to give you some – so um, – um, when can you do this by? Um, I guess I can do it next week. I can talk to someone. Talk to you and you someone you can talk to? Mm -hmm. And have it done, like, book it a month out so you have plenty of time to work on the speech. Okay. You know, and have it be just like a 20-minute talk. Okay. And uh, so that's, and I'll give you a tour now of what's available to you. But... Um, I'll, you know, make this recording available um, to everybody. And um, you just want to transcribe what I said because then make it be in your words. Because the solution can't be when you um, um, when you have some when you have somebody. Um, you can't say 
you know, my solution is to get a new job or get other interests. That can't be it. It has to be a solution along the lines of, uh, you know, what would make people better is that, you know what, we can't wait for management to make us feel better. We can't wait for management to give us, we've got to help each other out. Exactly. We got to catch people, uh, you know, we, we have to focus on what we are doing right and notice each other and, you know, focus on the positive. Otherwise we're going to burn out, yeah. you know, and, you know, so that could be one solution. So you need like at least two solutions. And the other one is to maybe find the funny, you know, mm -hmm. you know, to find the funny and then you can go into some of your routine there. Okay. What do you think? I like it because I've, I've been thinking about, you know, well, what, what would my speech be about? And the one thing that just really kept coming back to me was the whole how everybody just really, really hates being there. The, the climate of the workplace is just, it's depressing. Well, let's look. Let's look. I'm going to share my screen with you. And then... Um, Let's see, how do I share my screen? Oh, here it is, okay. Okay, so let's look at em employee in engagement. Employ uh, employee engagement. And you could like, to, you know, use, I would say your first step is to like, um, Um, no, that's software, employee engagement. How to use social mindset and boost employee um, engagement. Like, you know, start reading about what are some ways to do it, right? Mm -hmm. You know. Um, okay, here's some statistics. And you can even use this with your, you know, mm -hmm. you, know you need to really, first of all, research it. So, um okay. Disengaged workforce continues to be a major issue in companies worldwide. Only 33% of U.S. employees are engaged at work. Why, you know, mm -hmm. um, and simple social mindset, uh, an implant, a social mindset, a new way of thinking, respecting each other's opinions, focusing on inclusion, and investing in individual growth. Okay. You know, true employee engagement is taking actions and engage employees in their daily tasks, not from programs, processes that aim to force engagement. And then he has four ways. You know, clarify employees' purpose within the company. Um, you know, um, and, and should recognize their purpose and help employees clarify it. Okay, enable employees to define their purpose as they learn. Go ahead and encourage. Okay. Align empowerments with seamless communication. Okay. Uh, um, use social learning to, anyway, you could read about stuff. Okay. So, you know, find, just research this whole thing about employee engagement because your lack of engagement at your job can be a gold mine. All right, so, um, oh, we have somebody else here. Um, hi, this is, uh, uh, whoops, one second, sorry. Hi, uh, uh, Liliana, hi. Hello. Um, good, good to, good to have you here. I was just talking to LaShawn, and um, um, I was working with her a little bit about um, her crappy job that she has in procurement and she's about ready to quit and she does some stand-up comedy and I'm going don't quit you know she, she was telling me all the problems at work negativity people feeling stuck they're feeling unheard um, that everybody's you know asked to work more and there's less money people are reluctant to go to work and she actually has a routine about like that she insists on showing up late Make sure she's late, you know. And then we look up on the internet here that employee engagement is a really um, big topic 
and they're booking speakers and it's like a huge, huge topic in Google. So let's just go employee engagement speakers. So I think she's hit on a gold mine here. Employee engagement, um, top to experts, uh, employee engagement speakers. We've hit on a gold mine here. Okay, motivational leadership, employee engagement expert. Here's, let's see, a speaker. Here's a leader, leadership speaker. Look what a crappy website this is. Oh my God, wait a second. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, so um, here's a really crappy website. Oh my God. Proven ways to attract, retain, and motivate your work by overcoming adversity, going beyond. Anyway, here, here's this guy, just like crappy website. But so look at you. You're like, um, they would hire you in two seconds because first of all, I have, you know, with all due respect, you're a woman and you're, um, you're African American and that means that when they hire you, they take care of two diversity issues at once. Because you're gonna find, you know, companies go, oh, we always hire men, it's always men, let's hire a woman. Oh, we can hire someone and she's African American. And so this will be good. So you could work that girl. You could okay. work it, work it, work it. So um, hi, Marla. Glad to have you here. Um, we're, um, I'm talking to LaShawn right now. And I'm going to show you all a little bit about um, the message of you. Okay? okay. All right. So um, um, LaShawn is going to be um, pitching to her boss, her speaking at an upcoming meeting. And she's going to say, I'm going to do this for free, but I need a video. And she's going to pitch it. So she has to be able to pitch it. So, and say to her boss in a really succinct way what she talks about. So let's go to the message of you. And can you all see this? Uh, can you see my desktop here? Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. All right, so when you come to the website here, um, there is, let me just give you one second. Uh, there is, you'll see this, and what you want to do is right up here, you're going to log in. So I'm going to log out here just for a second, and I'll show you how to do this. And, all right, come on. Okay, so I'm going to click here. So do you see the login button right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to log in with, now if you forget um, your login, it was in the receipt when you signed up. And if you have any questions about anything, oh, how do I log in? How do I do anything? Right on the site here is something called FAQ. Uh, frequently asked questions and it's like logging in. You can watch these super short one minute, two minute videos. If you forget your password, you know, all this stuff, this is right here. Okay. So, so um, then if you want, if you go here to the webinar schedule, we do, uh, um, we do a Judy Champ session every other week. And then we have, um, um, in between, we have various topics, and they're different times, and you can go here, and you can see, uh, click on something here, and go to more details, and you can, oh, that one's not set up yet, but you can see when they are. Okay, now when you go here to where you logged in, um, you can go to the course button right here, or your dashboard, but I'm going to go to the course button here, and show you. So... So Sean has a kind of idea of what she wants to talk to. She knows she wants to, you know, pitch to her boss this idea of employee engagement, okay? But how does she do that? How does she, like, say her message to her boss in a way that, you know, is going to convince him that uh, to give her a shot? Well, um, that's module one, the message of you. So when you click on this, the message of you, it's going to take you 
to these exercises. And, and actually, in the very uh, first video, um, I'll just click on it right here, welcome to the course, um, it, has, it has the message of you formula. And the message of you formula is just seven steps, I think, seven, six, seven, yes. And it says here exactly how you say it. But there are 16 videos if you don't know what your message is to help you go through it. Now, those of you signed up recently, um, it, you include, it includes a private consult. So you might want to um, you know, email me and say, hey, I want the consult. And I can help guide you on this because what LaShawn's going to say something along the, the way is here, you know how, and insert your audience. So she says, you know how my coworkers, what challenges? You know, they have this problem. Their negativity is everywhere. Everybody is complaining. Everybody feels unappreciated. They're not engaged in their work, okay? Based, well, from my professional experience. So she's gonna talk about her. You know, I've worked here for 10 years. I know what's going on and I would like to have to speak on, and she has a bookable topic, employee engagement. Now we've already looked this up on the internet, so we know this is a big topic, right? Like it's on speaker bureau sites, everything. So I want to speak on employee engagement, you know, because I, I myself, you know, um, realized that I was on the verge of quitting. And I found that, that you know, um, how to overcome that, how to change my mindset. And I want to share that with everybody else. And the results that will give when I give my talk will be people will feel appreciated. People will... Um, be more engaged at work. They'll look forward to coming to work. We're going to lighten up the workplace. And I'm going to do this using some of the techniques I've used um, 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 that I've learned from doing some audience interaction and using some things um, from my stand-up comedy. And it all will be absolutely appropriate for HR. Okay. So, and all I ask is, you know, 20 minutes at a meeting, you know, let me do my thing. And I just want it videotaped and I, and I can deliver results. Okay. So that's her pitch. And so um, when we go through this message of you, we watch each video and the video takes you through really just simply filling out these seven steps. It's like, <laughs> you know, a very short thing. You're going to end up with two minutes, no more than two minute pitch, but you have to go through a lot to find that because you have to qualify to talk about it. And so LaShawn, um, in, the, in, in these videos, let's go back to the course here. Um, you'll see here, you know, what do you need for this course? Do you have what it takes to be a speaker? The first four lessons are prepping you up telling you about the speaking industry, how much money you can make. And then it's like working the message of you formula. And it, it's really just about filling out that one form. And when you fill out the form, um, I'll show you what it looks like because you can actually take that pitch and turn it into a video. So I will show you um, a video, one second. Uh, give, me, give me one second. And I'll show you uh, what one of my students, uh, one, one of our members has. Um, here this is. All right, let's, let's watch this. She took her, you know, what she got from the first course and turned it into a video. Let's watch it. Anyone finding that with all the negative stories you hear in the news that it's hard not to fall into hopelessness? The planet's warming up, politicians are bickering, and no one has yet figured out a way to fold a fitted sheet. Hearing negative stories all the time can lead to discouragement, even depression. I know, because I'm Orlinda Worthington, a nightly news anchor and inspirational humorist.
In the news, we lead with those tough stories you probably heard, if it bleeds, it leads. Yet in every newscast, there's always a story of someone doing something good, making a difference. That's why when I keynote at a business or organization, I show people that no matter what bad news is going on in their life, they have the possibility of healing by being the good news. A hero doing small things. How do we do it? The transformation starts by changing the channel on our inner broadcast, choosing to shift from being a victim to becoming a hero for others in your business, your community, your family. No cape is needed. You were born with a superpower to make a difference. In my presentation, I share behind the scenes TV stories, show you three small things you can do every day to influence others for the better, and in turn, increase your happiness and sense of purpose. Give me a call and let's talk about how I can help your group operate on their highest frequency possible every day and to become that story that I tell at the end of my newscast, the hero who makes a difference. Okay. So uh, that was her, you know, that was, uh, or Linda, you know, following this formula. Like, what is the problem people have? It's just there's so much negativity everywhere. Da, da, da. I know, I'm on the news. She works in her credibility. She talks about the results that she's going to give. You know, and, and it's less than two minutes. So now she shot it. So it's something that you tell the people, then you can shoot it. Um, and it doesn't have to be such a big deal. You can sit in front of your computer and shoot it. Um, I had her work in some B-roll and stuff. You can actually send it to an editor I know in the Philippines, pretty cheap. He could put some graphics to it, make it look good. And that becomes like, that's, this is my message. This is what I'm speaking about. This is the problem that I'm solving. So uh, for those of you who are new, I'm going back to the screen. Um, where, one second, sorry. Um, to the screen and to show you that there's this button here, continue course, all right? And then you can also um, go, go into the form and it keeps track of where you are in the course and that's that, okay? And then when you go back to um, this top thing here, courses, it's pretty simple. And each, each one has a little workbook and you could post in the form and uh, when you post in the form, if I'm in town, I definitely read it and answer. So if you have a question, you can always go to the form and post. And then the module two is writing your money-making speech. So let's say LaShawn goes to your boss, follows this formula, which I kind of did for, for you, so you can just kind of um, trans, trans, you know, uh, transcribe it. Sorry, I forgot how to speak English. So you can transcribe it. And... Um, do it to your boss and you're going to, and he's going to go, great, let's have you speak in the next meeting. Then you're going to go, oh shit, I've got to have a speech. Well, that's module two shows you exactly how to write your speech. And then module three shows you after you write it, um, um, comedy formulas that work. And then we go to module four where um, we have, um, these are uh, message-based marketing, you know, more advanced things on how to market yourself, how to do a website, all this stuff. But before you market yourself, you better have your message down and you need to have a gig because uh, you've got to start with a free gig because uh, you're not going to get anywhere without video on yourself. So we, we, we speak for free um, to get going. And then we have video, then we create our website, and, you know, that's, that's how that works. Does, does that make sense? So, yeah. those of you who are new here, um, I know we have uh, Marla and uh, uh, Hi Girl and I Ilana, and all, so good to have you all here. So, um, I'm just going to start with... Um, uh, and this is a Judy Jam session where if you're an enhanced person in the enhanced program, um, you get um, those who just signed up. It includes a 30-minute private consult with me. And you, you just email me when you want that. And But it's best to have, you know, have taken a stab at giving me your pitch. You know, give me your pitch. And... Uh, and, and then I can go through it, and usually 30 minutes, you know, I could clean it all up and all of that. All right, so um, 
uh, that's what this this course is all about. And a lot of it, you know, happens in these um, meetings. Because what I wanted to do today was do a little exercise about finding your title and uh, do some fun stuff with that. So, but meanwhile, I'll just go through and take questions and uh, and uh, see what uh, you have to say. So, Lashawn, um, does that does that help you? It helps me a lot because I was really I didn't really know which direction to go in. Do you, does it feel right to you? It does feel right. All I've right. Been thinking about a lot of topics, but this one just really really resonates with me. Yeah. I mean, when, when, you know, when I just talking to you briefly and you said employee engagement, I went bingo. I mean, that is awesome. And then of course we always go to Google and, uh, and, and, and see, um, are people searching for what we want to talk about? Because if nobody's searching for it, why bother? Right. Why bother putting all that time? You want to make money from this and to get to make money, you have to find a problem that people are having and um, and develop a solution to it. And then of course, this is, this is, this is how everything happens in life, you know, um, is, is, is that then can become a speech, can become a book, can become, you know, um, what you're an expert at. So that's, that's how that works. Okay. So let me talk to you a little bit. Um, that was the tour and uh, Liliana, um, am I pronouncing your name right? Oh, we don't have your sound on. Uh, let me just see one second. Uh, uh, you need to have a, a mic plugged in or something. Mm -hmm. I see your video, but you might have clicked the mute button someplace. So. Look around, see if you can figure that out, and and we'll go from there. Okie doke. So, uh, YouTube was seven minute heart story. Shem, I also have a question about testimonials. Okay, so let's go to, let's let, let me first go to Marla, and uh, <laughs> hi Marla and. Hey Judy. Uh, okay, Liliana is trying to figure out stuff, and. Uh, hmm. Hard to. Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. okay, now Marla, I just see your eyeballs. Just oh, tilt okay. it down a little bit. <laughs> down. There you go. You have a face. Yay. Yes, I do. So good to see you, Marla. Thank you. Same so, to you. So, um, what 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 are you working on? Um, um, good news. I was accepted. I've had anxiety about moving from stand-up into giving a speech. I was accepted into the National Association of Mental uh, Illness, that whole, to be in there, uh, in your own voice. And I want to talk about um, surviving mental illness, using humor to get out of the... Uh, out of depression, and focusing what I... my speech, and I have a, a speech coming up in... November, so of course I'm all spilky. All right, so so do you have a title for your speech? Uh, uh, I'm blanking right now. Okay, that's yeah. fine. We're going to work on that today because I wanted to work on titles today. So oh, perfect. We're going to have a little workshop today, an oh, interactive workshop. We'll help each other come up with a title, um, and, and that's great. Well, that is fantastic. Um, I just want to comment about that. Um, Marla, this is something that could be so huge. Um, so many people suffer from depression. Um, so let's just uh, let's just go to go to the internet right now, and let's just let's just look it up. Um, 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 humor, depression. Uh, wait. Um, uh, let's just go uh, humor. Let's try curing depression with humor. Let's see. Why laughter scares laughter scares depression. Um, anxiety, active, happy, happy uh, feelings. Um, this is really good, Marla. When you get something really going, there's an organization you must speak at. And that is called AARF. Wow. 
Yes. Let's go look at Arth and write it down. Oh, another horrible, horrible website. Uh, okay. Um, but they take PayPal. Uh, <laughs> training and event calendar. Um, is this, uh, maybe I don't have it right. A, A, maybe it's A, A applied. Huh. Uh, let me see if this is a, oh, here it is. It was the wrong website. I was thinking, God, when, okay, here's much better. Um, this is, uh, what is therapeutic humor? Therapy humor is an intervention that promotes health and wellness by stimulating playful discovery. And they are asking, they are asking for speakers and you have their next conference is April 12th, 2018. And you should pl apply to uh, do it. I just got an email from them. I've spoken at them for them several times. And this is like, would be a perfect place to talk. Okay. Right. So yeah. A A T H. I put an R in it. Um, conference wrap up show. You can see stuff from past annual conference. Um, Humor Academy. Yes. So it's, it's nurses and doctors and people in healthcare um, um, who believe that humor um, heals. Okay. So you want to look up again, you must become an expert on whatever you talk about. And so your job is to research this stuff because Marla, you're going to find a gold mine here. You're going to find so many places you can speak. Okay. Okay, so there's that. All right, now, um, do you have any other questions about, you know, um, uh, speaking your message? You heard me uh, talk to LaShawn, right? Yes. Okay, all right. So you need to be able to say exactly, you know, to pitch yourself, right? I also have, I did, a, I started working on a one person show and I have a snippet of what depression was uh, without using the F-bomb. So I have a little bit of video talking about the shame and just like an encapsulated soundbite that the beginning of something. Yeah, that might, that might work. Um, I don't know. I, I find in speaking, um, like when, when I was talking to LaShawn about her message, it's all about other people. Right. You know, it's all about enrolling. It's like, you know, the pre you know, it, it, it starts, the formula is very specific because yeah. it's really about the audience and, and what people are going through. Then you go to yourself and going, you know, I'm a victim of depression myself, you know, I, and I, and I found that using humor took me from depressed to deliriously <laughs> whatever. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to talk about titles in a second. All right. Um, hold on, Trevor. Um, I'm going to take uh, new people. And, and what, what? Oh, Liliana. So yes. Liliana, so do you have, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm a laughaholic. Um, I do laughing. Uh, so Marla, if you were in my city, I can give you a full two day training to help you with this whole laugh therapy and how it's used for people uh, uh, who are depressed. But uh, right now I'm putting together a comedy sketch because we have the humor conference coming to Montreal this summer and they asked me to do a 15 minute comedy. So they want All to right, we work together. We work together, didn't we? Yeah, we did back in yeah, January. That's right. That's where you look up. Yeah. And that helped me a lot. That 30 minute session I had with you and you really helped me fix up my, my thing was awesome. Oh, good. And how did it all work? Did it, did, was it successful? It was a success. So we had our first annual conference and I'm planning right now the second annual for January. So, and, and, uh, and tell, tell people what this conference is. So it's called the Living Laughter Conference. Uh, last year it was myself. Uh, I'm a laughter yoga teacher. I'm actually in the process of becoming a master trainer. I had my colleague, uh, Wendy Singer, who suffers of lupus. So she was talking about how humor helped her in her own Okay, life. so when we, when we talk about what we do, let's, tr let's get used to talking about it in terms of the problem people have and then about yourself. You know, 
those of you in comedy um, should know this. Um, everything's about the setup. It's all about the setup. So when we start something with, I do this and I do that, people immediately lose um, 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 interest because they don't know you, they're not into you. You gotta set it up. So try it again. Um, I'm just gonna be a little coaching here. Try it again with, you know how, you know, a lot of people who are, you know, in the workplace, whatever it is, whoever your audience is, have this problem. Well, that's why I formed the, so just try that. So, so try it. Okay. So you know how a lot of people are depressed and feeling so sad. They're overwhelmed with everything that's going on in the world. Well, how about you learn how to become a laughaholic? Now, everybody's looking to stop with alcoholism, but here I am showing you how to become a laughaholic, which is totally different. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, one second. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. Everybody's depressed in this and this, but you never came back to it. In okay. other words, okay. how about becoming a laughaholic? Well, another thing to do. Shit. I mean, I'm already depressed. You have to like really make sense. And that's why it's like, you know, a lot of people are, depressed right now you know and and they're not finding happiness in their life and they're not finding hope in the future that's why i create the laughaholic convention because laughter when you laugh whatever problem you have whether depressed whether um anxiety studies have shown that laughter decreases depression that's why at my conference people find renewed hope by laughing. You understand how that that is it's a it's a it's sales people. It's 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 like you know, here's the problem and this is what I created to cure it and I qualify and I myself am a certified yoga. I mean, that comes after you've convinced me. So so again, those of you go through um this let me just share this one more time with with you guys um, um go through this formula because it's not just created because oh i'm a control freak and you need to you know do it it works it's like you know how people have wh whoever it is have this problem people in the workplace or women or people in healthcare or nurses, well, whoever your audience intended audience is, you know, and then you bring in your credibility and, 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 you know, you speak on, you know, curing depression with laughter. And I've had experience with this as, you know, maybe your personal experience and the results you're going to find is that, you know, you're going to come out of there. Oops. Hold it one sec, one second. You're going to come out of there, you're going to come out with a renew, ignite, reigniting your passion for your work, for your life, your purpose with lightness, you know. And we're going to do, and then the methodology, and we're going to get those results by using laughter techniques, you know. So, so when anybody asks you what you do, use this formula. Get it so, you know, when I go, okay, what are you doing? Use the formula. Okay. So, um, uh, any questions about anything so far, anybody? Okay. Uh, Liliana? Yeah. Okay, you got, you, you got that. Do you want to give it a go? Yeah. Do you want to try it or? Well, no, because I'm getting comfortable prepared at all, but I'm coming here to kind of refresh and, and get inspired by what you have to say. Right. Great. Yeah. Because, you know, from watching that video of uh, Orlinda, who just, you know, worked work this, the formula, it's pretty simple, but it really, you know, I, cause what you're doing is so fantastic. You know, what you're doing is something we all need to do, you know, and, and remind ourselves about. So I'm really committed to you 
getting this out in a powerful way. And that's why I'm a little writing your ass a little bit. I that's hope not too much. Is it, am I writing it too much? No, <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> Is it because um, I feel it's so important. I really want you to get it out there. Okay, so um, uh, any uh, questions so far about anything, anybody? I can go talk to Trevor. Yeah, Marla, go ahead. Uh, oh, oh, you were saying um, when people ask you what you do, use this formula. So were you just referring to this or the quick little sound bite? No, I'm, well, this formula can be done. I mean, when you start using it and you know it, right? you can just do it. So, you know, like I was just at a networking meeting and people go, what do you do? I do real estate. You know, I sell real estate. I, you know, and it's just so. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. And <laughs> so like, if you go, well, you know how people get realtors and they're really disappointed in them. And, you know, they don't have somebody to really, um, find them exactly what they're looking for or people um, realtors will take the first bid and not really wait to get the right bid. Well, I, you know, I show people, um, I, I'm a realtor for whoever, you know, insert court, court name here. And um, I make sure you have the ideal house. Oh, but it, it's all about the problem. If you really connect, and usually when people say, what do you do? I go, I, I first ask them, oh, you tell me first. And then I adjust it according to them. You know, so, so you know, if somebody, um, well, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it, with your pitch, you might want to go like, you know, I don't know. Have you ever, do you know someone who's been depressed or ever been depressed? You know, well, then right. I think you know, how debilitating that is and how people lose their, their purpose in life. They lose their motivation for going to work. Everything is a struggle. There's a heaviness. Well, I show people how to use humor to overcome depression. Um, I'm a, um, um, I'm speaking at the blah, 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 blah. And um, the results I give is that people find when they laugh at a problem, become smaller and that you can actually laugh away depression. And then that encourages a conversation. Right. So you want to work in there? Yes. And I'm speaking at the mental health conference. I've been accepted. And this is, you know, you know, I always like to throw in maybe some kind of statistic to show, you know, you know, people find that uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, like when people say, what do you do? It's like, well, you know how people are so disengaged at work. They don't, you know. I speak on, you know, igniting people's enthusiasm for coming to work and showing up 100%. So they say, thank God it's Monday. I mean, that's all you have to say. I mean, you don't have right. to go through the whole thing, but it's like problem, qualify, you know, problems, topic that you talk on, your, what, you know, credibility and the results you give. You can do it in 20 seconds, but, um, you know, I like to do it in conversation. I like to ask people what they do at, you know, first, right. because then I adjust, like if someone's in real estate, I'll talk about how I'll adjust what I speak about on the spot. You know, just, <laughs> you know, I'll go and say, okay, you're in real estate. Oh my gosh. I just spoke at a real estate. I'm a speaker and you know how realtors have this, you know, all competing it's hard to distinguish yourself as somebody who's different and unique. Well, I speak on how to use stories to sell houses. <laughs> you know, and they go, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> we need you to come speak at our place. So, you know. Got it. I mean, it's kind of hoary, but that's what I, you know. Is that a word, hoary? Yes. <laughs> So that's what I do. I kind of adjust, you know, uh, what do you do? And <laughs> just, oh my gosh, do you know blah, blah, blah. Well, at this point, I've spoken so much. So I just, you know, it's kind of easier for me. But um, that's what I do. Okay, now, uh, let's see, what time is it? Trevor. And then I want to do an exercise on titles. It'll help you fun. So Trevor, uh, what do you, Trevor, where are you? Yeah, hi, I'm here. Can you uh, hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, I can. See me? See you, hear Great. you, <laughs> touch you. All right. 
Great. That was well, a 60s um, flashback. Okay. So just a few minutes ago, you were saying that it's important to get a gig, even a free gig, and I would be up for that. But I feel a little stuck because uh, I've been told I have to have a one sheet before I can go to a meeting planner, and I can't finish my one sheet without testimonials for me as a speaker. Mm -hmm. And I do have testimonials from Unity Churches about me as a singer and from mm -hmm. copywriting clients. But I don't have any testimonials for me as a speaker, so I feel like I can't finish my one sheet. Well, you have to speak in a place that where you don't need a one sheet. Oh. Yeah. It's like, you know, uh, you have to find a place to speak um, that isn't a one sheet. Now, if you go back, um, and watch um, Ed Tate. Um, he talks about how to how to turn, well. That's more of how to turn free to fee. Right. But how to get your first gig? I think we need to do a webinar on that. You know. Okay. How how to get a gig? Okay. So so let's yeah. just let's just look at this a second. Hold on a okay. second. Okay. Um, I'm taking you seriously here, and I am <laughs> going to do this. Okay, so uh, let's just talk about where do you live? What Oakland, city? Oakland, California. You could say San Francisco. It's right Oakland. Next to okay, Oakland nonprofits. Oakland County nonprofit organizations. Okay. Okay. But you know my talk is for entrepreneurs and people that okay, are... I'm, okay, Oakland, Oakland, um, entrepreneurs, um, networking meetings. Got it. Okay, uh, social business networking meetups. Okay, so there's a meetup. Let's just look. I'm going to open them up. Professional meetup. San Francisco, networking events here, um, seven neck in San Francisco. Let me just look here and see what we have so here. San Francisco is fine. That's only, uh, you know, 40 minutes away. All right. So here's some place that has a thousand uh, meetups, always have speakers uh, hosted by consulting. David. I just spoke at um, um, Pipeliners, uh, uh, entrepreneurial one. Mm -hmm. Learn more. Okay. So, you know, if you have a good pitch, you call them up or you email them, you pitch yourself. Uh, okay. Here's, here's professional networking meetups in Oakland. Mm. There's tons of them. Mm. Look at okay. all of that. These are all places you can speak. Um, you know, you just start emailing all of them. Okay, so just go on Meetup. And, and if you're, the yeah, I would, I would just, I just went to Google. Here's more meetups. Right. Well, professionals is not necessarily right. If they're employees, that's not my market. No, but entrepreneurs, not, right? Yes, that's right. But professionals And you can adjust it to whoever it is, you know, sure, sure. Um, okay. you know, and make it really, you know, your build it up and give a good pitch. Oh, that was something okay. we did for Marlon. All right. That makes sense. That's good. Right. So yeah. what are we waiting for? You know, <laughs> Um, you're, you, you know, and once you do it, I mean, this is gonna, you know, this is gonna be so I, much fun. Good. And then, okay. and then, and then, so, um, the art of active, what's this, let's just go 5,000 network. Okay. So, um, and then they have meetings. So you want to go to the meetings, meet people, and then, right. um, put yourself okay. as a speaker. Right. So okay. that's, that's what that's what I did. I went. Let me let me just see. Uh, let's see the one I just did. Pipeline. Is it pipeline? Something like pipeline. Oh, here it is. Mm, pipelining LinkedIn. Mm. Mm hmm. Library. Um. Anyway. Um. I don't know. This is. No, I get the idea. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I could just go to Meetup or even Google and type yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Networking meetings. Yeah, how cool is that? And go then, to the meetings, meet the people. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. I mean, this is a great way to start your career because then you do it and then afterward, and then you have uh, somebody follow you with a camera or your phone. I just do it on my phone. And, and then you get, um, I'll show you. Let's see, just one second. I can show you the kind of testimonials. Um, 
get. Give me one second, just to Winchester. Um, was a gig I just did, and I'll I'll show you the testimonials. And you just you know you just I just uh, hold it just one second. I'm gonna find this. It's a movie, and um, I don't know. I just I just. Uh, let me let me let me uh, share this new share. Um, ba, 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 ba. Oh, okay, here it is. Okay, and then I don't know. Here's some woman. I just uh, see. Oh, a bunch of still shots. No, these are all videos. Oh um, wow, videos, great. T E R yesterday. <laughs> Just one second. I liked what you showed us last time with all those people like in their seats, raising their hands up, right? Mm -hmm. Getting them excited. Right. Uh, I got the idea. Yeah, get yeah. it. Absolutely. Are we doing I that saw last? Judy Carter in my pink her. fox coat in Virginia and she was awesome. I feel okay. so happy. I don't know. She's too weird. I'm not going to use that. But <laughs> as people, as people like go, hey, what do you think of the show? Can I record you? What do you think? You know, till and then I got one super good one. I don't know where it is, um, but from the, I because he was the president of the hospital and I had him do it. This was just the book signing thing. Um, you know. Anyway. So um, that, does that answer your question? Just yeah. afterwards That's go, great. That's hi, great. you know, can you give me comments? You know, you know, what is your job? What do you do? And what, what, what did you learn from my talk? You know, and that's really helpful. Okay, let's have some fun now. All right. All right. So um, this is what we're going to do. Um, get some, open up um, a, um, something to write with or, uh, your word program on your computer and we're going to get some titles that tintillate and this is from the book the message of you um, and here we go okay so I'm going to guide you through this exercise and you just guys just go right and we'll see what we come up with and then uh, we can work together in pairs okay so write all the words associated with the problem that you plan on addressing in your speech. Okay, so um, so what is the problem? Um, so as we uh, spoke to uh, people, have talked about depression. People have talked about. Um, um, employees being disengaged, um, just, just write some, some words. Okay. So we're just going to do that for one minute. Just write as many words as you can associated with, um, the problem that your speech addresses. All right. And, and we're going to see if we can come up with some stuff. I am going to do it too. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet now. Okay, so we all have some words. Oh, keto. Next, um, what we're gonna do is write all words associated with your solution. 
So, you know, it could be appreciate, appreciation. I mean, what, what solutions are you giving people? So just write a little bit about the solutions. It could be laughter. I mean, what solutions are you giving people? Do we all have some words? And we all have okay. Uh, um, let's just say, Marla, what are some of your uh, what are what are some of your words? And uh, what are some of your problem words and some of your solutions? Go ahead. Uh, uh, lethargic, down, unmotivated, anxious, fearful, hopeless, disengaged, stuck, sour, overwhelmed. Great. Solu solution is hope, laughter, minimize, faith, fun, fortitude, engaged, piss and vinegar. And, uh, oh, I said motivated twice. Okay, fantastic. Okay, Trevor, what do you have? Okay, for problems, loved ones judge, criticize, or discourage you. You're afraid of being pushy or imposing or taking advantage of your friends, and people don't show up to meetings. Okay, and what are your solutions? I show you how to locate qualified, motivated prospects, persuade with stories so you don't come off as pushy, and diagnose before you prescribe. Okay, and um, and wouldn't one of your problems be um, broke, no clients, right? Uh, not necessarily. Or not broke. no clients, but but you you're teaching them how to get more clients, right? Yeah, okay, you could say so that. So the opposite of, of what you have a solution, add some more of the problems. Okay, and Ilana, what do you have? Oh, me? Mm -hmm. uh, stress, depression, overwhelmed, sickness, disease, financial mm -hmm. crisis, relationship breakups, uh, violence, and uh, in terms of solutions, gratitude, meditation, laughter, I am statements, turn off the news after 8 p.m., uh, socialization, watch shows. Fantastic. Really good. And, and LaShawn, what do you have? I have disengaged, dissatisfaction, unappreciated, underpaid, stressed, negative environment. Okay, great. And solutions? Uh, appreciation, laughter, incentives, training. Um, that was it. Great. Now, uh, really great. Everybody's doing super good. Now what I'd like you to do is to uh, if you're in Word, do you guys have a thesaurus? You can right click. Find a couple more words um, for problems and solutions by right clicking on them and going to uh, the thesaurus and um, writing, writing in because I just looked disengaged, disconnected, severed, unfastened, you know, uh, you know, so right Expand what you already have by looking in the source, and we'll just do it for a few minutes, okay? I never knew you could do that. Thank you. <laughs> it's 
Isn't it great? Um, wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so let's, let's just all add at least 10 more words right now. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, anybody excited about what they found? Well, stress alone had like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven really good words just related to stress. Really? What are they? Can you can I hear them? Sure. Uh, pressure, strain, anxiety, tension, trauma, hassle, and worry. Oh, all good. Okay. Yeah, these are all good words. Okay. All right. Um, Okay, let's go to the next step, which is in the book. <laughs> you know, I always forget I, I, I've written a book, and, and then I go, this is good. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Um, all right, next one is, all right, add new words like variations. Now a try, try arranging words in snappy titles using some of these tips. Modify uh, familiar catchphrases and expressions so they are relevant to your talk. Okay, so here's something fun because I really like this. Um, so I looked up on the internet. I sound like such an old fart. I looked up on the internet, <laughs> on the Google. Um, <laughs> when you put the word the, you just sound yes. super old, right? On the Google. <laughs> I looked up on the Google. Now I looked up, <laughs> all right, we don't need Oakland. Uh, Oakland, we don't need this. Uh, okay, I looked up like um, slogans, catchy slogans. Okay, uh, save money, work, uh, let's see. Just do it, think different, but this is a popular slogans. Where did I put this? 100, ah, here it is. A diamond is forever. A message, you know, a message is forever. You know, um, um, here's something like breakfast of champions. Um, um, Calgon, take me away. Uh, these are kind of old. Um, got milk, um, you know, the cure for the common cold. I'll walk a mile for a camel, um, takes a licking and keeps on ticking, just do it. Um, anyway, so I uh, turned this into, you know, something on my website, my new website, which is, do you check it out? Oh, first of all, looks pretty, doesn't it? You guys can see it? Great picture. Uh, yeah, and then... Um, I put Judy Carter, the cure for the common cubicle. <laughs> kind of cool, isn't it? And so um, that's one thing we can do. Now, we won't have time today to do it, but if everybody could just, 
stay on um, a little, you know, just work a little longer and post this in a form would be so awesome to read it. So you can take, you know, look at catchphrases, just look up popular, like, uh, um, look, ma, no, no, t you know, no stress, you know? Um, I'm just looking at all these, um, the other white meat. Um, these aren't the best, but um, I don't think this is the best site because this is advertising taglines. Um, so it's not the best, but if you can find quotes like um, common wisdom quotes, maybe that would be it. Um, common wisdom sayings. Oh, maybe this is good. Common wisdom sayings. Okay. Uh, wise old sayings. Um, uh, a broom, you know, a bird in hand is with two in the bird. Pro anyway, uh, um, like someone had a title, their book, Bless Your Stress. Um, no, this is not the right one. I need um, wisdom quotes, proverbs. Is it a proverb? Um, oh, here it is. Two wrongs don't make a right. So I guess it's a proverb. Okay, um, two wrongs don't make a right. The pen is mightier than the sword. Um, you know, laughter is mightier than depression. Um, um, when the going gets tough, the tough get yeah, laughing. Laughing, yeah. So you can take some of your solutions. Like you have like a lot of words, like puzzles to work with. Um, and people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones better late than never better laugh now than eh, keep your friends close your new anyway okay all right so that's one something you can do that i've done and put on my but can't use the cure for the common cubicle because that is gold people that is truly gold okay so that's one way to do the title. The other way to do the title is use from, put in the problem, to the solution. So, like I have an example in the book from confrontation to communication. Now, it's good if it's alliteration from, so is there, from losing hope to laughter, uh, from, uh, that's not as, from, um, you know, so, um, it's nice if it's alliteration from, 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 does anybody have anything they like to share about from and to looking over your list? From lethargy to laughter. Oh, I like that. That's nice. That's, and that's a lot the of truth. these can be, can be like, you know, you know, subtitles cause you can put like, like um, employee engagement colon, and then put that title. So so you can you could do like subtitle because everything now has a title and a subtitle. Like my book is the message of you, but the subtitle is turn your life story into a money making speaking career. All right, okay. So there's that. Um, anybody have anything they want to go from and to? Give it a go from to. Well, a friend of mine gave a talk called From Zero to Hero. I thought that was great. Yeah, that's really good. That's good. Uh, it's, it's good and on the air. When I was air. playing around with this a year ago, I was thinking. What is from, it, From Zero to Hero? Right. Yeah. I, I was playing with From Afraid to Fulfilled, and then I just changed it to Fearless and Fulfilled. But it oh. started out with two, two words fulfilled. with F. Fulfilled? I don't know if that's, I mean... You're and really, no, you're really talking about business. So I'm not would, using that anymore, Judy, but uh, at yeah. the time, you know. Yeah, but that is good. That is good uh, as, as an example. Anybody else have anything else? LaShawn, Marla, go ahead. <laughs> uh, from, from languid to levity. Languid. Mag like, yeah. From... Yeah, levity, levity. I got... How about from broke to boss? From broke to boss, from broke to 
Now you're the, well, I would say to billionaire, but I can't really offer that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boss yeah. Is, is like someone that's in charge and, and doing, making the money, right? From broke to, yeah. Well, you need a long list of words. That's why it's really good to spend a little more time going to all, you know, the, the problems your speech addresses Great. to... Uh, to the solution so you have a lot to work with. Okay, let's go. Ready for another one, anybody? Yep. Um, mention your qualifications to speak on your topic um, in the title. Um, so again, I, 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 there's a woman who spoke from homeless to Harvard. Um, so it could be like your journey. So you might want to do something about your journey from... Um, what was your journey, you know, from, from something to something from, um, so, uh, again, um, alliterations are, are good, but you know, it doesn't have to be, it could be a little, everybody does alliterations, but the reason everybody does alliterations is because people it's like to hear that, you know, it, it just something about how it hits the brain and make um make it um i i have is there anything from fact to fabulous <laughs> exactly <laughs> exactly you know um so that's that's a good one um 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 the number of steps in your title like four easy steps to sell your writing you know, and, and you know, it would be good, you know, four steps. Uh, I kind of want to say what I use, but, but then you'll all steal it. You can't, you promise you won't steal mine? Promise, promise. put your hands, promise. you know, five steps to go from, from turning problems into punchlines. So That's great. I know you want it. Resist. <laughs> Resist. But Problems to punchlines is really good. So, but you would only find, you know, find the word punchlines if you like, if you're doing comedy, then you want to list, you know, use the thesaurus, hit comedy and, and put everything having to do with it and you'll find your own. Judy, okay. what about from struggling to six figures? From struggling, what uh, to six figures? Can you really, uh, can you really promise that? Well, I've, I've is done it. it. What, what is it you're talking about? You're talking about how to connect to clients or how to get clients or how to market yourself? Uh, well, I forgot. <laughs> I'm teaching network marketers as my main market how to persuade with stories so they don't come across as pushy and how to locate qualified, motivated prospects so they don't waste their prospects. time. Prospects, okay. So, but none of these words were in your list. So you really want to have prospects in your list, getting prospects, right? you know, from... But prospects you know, isn't a sexy enough word to put in a title. Are you kidding me? But that's what you're speaking on, you know? Turning, turning blank and, you know, turning prospects into customers but not but find different words see if it you okay can do something. oh i see it has to be that literal it can't be just from struggling to six figures that's too general well you're you it's, a, it's it, people think it's bullshit because nobody you know that's why trump university uh, he had to uh, pay so much money because he was promising six figures well nobody made six figures he was mm -hmm. sued your title has to really be you know your promise what okay. you're going to do Okay. Or about yourself. Okay, so we talked well, about the numbers in the title. Okay, here's another one for a title. Identify your target market in your title. Management uh, strategies for real estate agents. Okay, so that's another good one because, you know, there's that whole aspect of SEO picking you up on the website. So, you know, um, turning, you know, what about like leads, uh, Trevor, turning leads into uh, leads? So again, I would put the word leads, then I would thesaurus, and what are you turning into them? You're turning them into um, buying customers, um, loyal, turning leads into loyal buyers. You know, that, like we're, you're getting there on that. 
because that's what you're doing. So all this stuff about love or criticism, that has nothing to do with what you're talking about. You're really talking about turning leads into, um, you know, people who buy, turning. Yeah, so you, you really need more of a, uh, a list that has to do with what you're, you're, you're talking about. Okay. Anybody want management strategies, humor strategies for depression? Five, yeah. Yeah, or five steps from depressed to deliriously yeah, happy. Mm. You know, there's that. Okay. All right. Um, here's another uh, idea where I look, you know, to find titles. Look to magazine covers to find titles that have sizzle. You know, if you go online and you see uh, Cosmo, or depending on what what industry you're you're in, they those people work uh, hard on their titles because the titles on the cover of their magazine has to sell the magazine. So um, if you look at Entrepreneur dot com any of that um, you'll find some really good titles or just go to entrepreneur.com and if you're talking to entrepreneurs you know use one of the titles with what they have you know okay here's one other idea to give you rhyming words can make a memorable title if any of the words in your description rhyme you might want to use them a title for instance lose weight without the hate <laughs> you know Lose weight without the hate. That's nice. Five steps to a perfect body with, oh, lose weight without the hate. Oh, here's a combination where you rhyme and then use five steps. Lose weight without the hate, five steps to a perfect body without dieting or exercise. So, so do you see how the title, you, you want to be clever, but you it really has to, you know, what are you talking about? Here's another and final one. Name a technique after yourself, as in Carter's comedy techniques for breaking the ice with new clients. Carter's comedy techniques for breaking the ice with new clients. You know, Carter's comedy techniques. Anyway. Um, so then I say, once you have a few ideas for titles, Google the best ones to make sure nobody else is using the same titles. Um, and if they are, change it slightly. Um, and then, um, you know, ask a couple people who are like, you know, would be kind of typical of people in your audience. For example, if your speech is called Retire in Style, Five Steps to Stop Working and Start Living. Um, you know, uh, find somebody who's retiring, you know, to practice that on. Um, so I would love to hear your titles because once you have a title, your speech feels more real. Right. Um, and it's like, bam, it's there. So those are the techniques, um, that you can use to find titles. But I think it's kind of a fun, um, you know, like if you, if you like playing Scrabble or word games, you know, start with. Just like so many words that are the problem and the solution and and play with this, you know, and 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 use the internet and and see what you can do. And then um, you know, post it in the uh post it in the forum and then maybe we can make it better. So you gotta have the guts to suck. <laughs> and the message of you because you know and I, and I I'm sorry if I'm hard on anybody but um I've, I've always been a little bit abrupt and I'm I apologize but but I, I I'm just saying that um uh you're gonna suck until you get better and the only this is where you get you get advice and that uh I'm not I, I want you to be good and good enough to get paid because that's my goal for all of you people give you a little old hug you're all on my screen little 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 hug a little my little message of you attendees <laughs> i have to tell you it's you know step by step we'll put it together you know step by step we'll put it together but uh let's get the title okay 
So how many of you, I want you to write in in the chat, I commit to coming up with a title and putting it in the form. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see what you guys, come on, let's hear it. A couple titles. Uh, shit, that shouldn't be in a title. From oh, shit I'm... to... <laughs> to success. Uh, I was muted. My husband Mar 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 You should be good at this because you're in, you're in a PR, you know? Yes. This is, this is good stuff. So, all right. So I'm let's great see. for anybody oh, else. Six-figure passion. Turn your expertise into high-profit online. But, but you really turn your expertise. I didn't, doesn't have marketers or Trevor who you're talking to because you're very specific. I talk to, you know, network marketers on how to, you know, get more leads and turn those leads into customers. That's one of my talks, but this is the other one. Oh, 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 okay. Six, turn your extra passion on high profit online into high profit online programs. Oh, turn your expertise. Turn your expertise into a profitable online program. Yeah, that could work. Okay. okay. I, got, I get confused with you because you're- Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For network me. marketing meeting planners, it's create fearless go-getters who never quit. There's no rhymes or alliteration. Create, well, play with the words again. Yeah. Take all those words, do the source thing. I'm, so, I'm glad some of you figured out about the right click. Okay. And I will- Email everybody uh, this audio, okay? So you'll have it. Uh, thank you, Marla. You're going to post it. LaShawn, coming time, put in the forum. Uh, okay. From zero to hero. Yeah, that was good. All right. Excellent. Um, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Um, okay. All right. Great. Bye-bye.